Hello everyone, my name is Mauricio and I'm Eventia's co-founder and CEO. I'm very glad to be presenting this keynote today. As you know, we have many different events. You probably have been to one of our get-togethers. Well, today we are experimenting with this new format which is dedicated to the product and its updates. You're aware that Eventia is always developing new features and introducing new functionalities into the product. So today we'll be taking an, another look to the latest uh, upgrades to Eventia, to the Eventia platform, how to use them, how to get an ROI from them, and how to increase your engagement in your events with the Eventia platform. Eventia started as a startup providing technology services for physical events. And we did that for a very long time. But two years ago, as you know, the pandemic came and it changed everything. We had to adapt and our product was focused fully on virtual events, which we've been really developing for the last two years. But the world continues to change and the pandemic is fading away. Physical events are possible again and we are all eager to meet in person, to have drinks together and to shake hands the way we used to do before. But we must not forget what we've learned in these last two years, all the advantages that virtual events bring us. Eventia is evolving into hybrid, and we've been developing and launching great new features and innovations to support you with your events and engaging larger audiences beyond that one of the physical event. One of the greatest challenges with virtual or hybrid events is to broadcast your presentations to your audience, knowing that in many cases you have multiple speakers around the world. To do this, you've probably had to integrate different solutions, including YouTube or Vimeo. At Aventi, our mission is to make your life as simple as possible, and we're integrating all solutions into one silicon place. To do this now, we, you can use the Eventia Studio, which allows you to do exactly this. Broadcast your presentations to the virtual audience directly from Eventia without integrating any other solution. So it makes it very simple and is very easy to use. Before the event, you must go to the Activities module and select the Virtual Stage tab. Then you must select the Eventia Studio option. The day of the event, in this same tab, you will find a link that says Access Eventia Studio. The Eventia Studio will open in a new page. You will be acting as the host. You can invite other speakers by sharing the link that you will find in the Eventia Studio. You can invite up to nine different speakers. Before the event and during the talk, speakers are able to chat in the chat module that you will find on the right of the screen. Once you're ready, you just go live. We're going to show you here how it looks in the virtual stage. As you see, it's all integrated, very simple to use, and actually it's very fast. Its latency is only of three to five seconds, which is one of the lowest that you will find among the streaming platform. Whether your event is physical, virtual, or hybrid, it has the objective of bringing people together and generating emotions. And because we're generating emotions, people want to share their reactions. There's no better place than a social wall to do this. A social wall is so much more than just a simple chat. It is really a private social network with its own feed, integrated directly into your event. In this place, your participants can share visual content as pictures they're taking across the event, but also comments. And most especially, they can react or like other people's posts. Recently, at Eventia, we had our Eventia Fest internal event, and we used our social wall, which was a great success. It was full of visual content, of great comments and reactions, and it allowed people really to share those emotions. It's very powerful as your own social event network. In today's world, your attendees want the possibility to participate to your events in person, but many times also virtually. So this is why hybrid events are a necessity today. And that's why our platform has evolved 
to allow you to manage these multiple contexts on which you can deliver your event to your participants. We're going to see how you must configure your event in Eventia to make these things happen. When you create your event, you will have the possibility to define whether it's a physical, virtual or hybrid event. If you are running a hybrid event, you will have to create at least two different types of participants. One is the virtual audience and the other will be the physical audience. The virtual stage and the app will behave differently depending on your attendance type. Certain features and accesses will be available only for each category. For example, virtual audience will only have access to virtual activities, while physical audience will only have access to the physical activity. If your event is running one-to-one -one meetings, you can also make them hybrid. In the networking profile, you can define whether the, the attendees will be participating physically or virtually. During the event, the attendees will be able to see if their counterpart will be physical or will be virtual. They will know then if they have to go to a meeting room or meeting table or if they have to connect to the virtual stage or app to access the meeting. For your physical events, you can now deploy a fully customizable mobile app. It's a mobile app that you can configure directly from Eventia and that allows attendees to stay connected all times with the event and get all the information they need. For example, they can upgrade their profile, they can upload new information, their pictures or maybe a COVID test if necessary. They can explore the program, discover the activities and if you're required to, they can register to those activities. They can browse the list of speakers to, def to, def to decide what are the ones that are most interesting to them. But also, and very important, the app is a place where they can find the community, where they can discover other attendees and get in contact with them. And if your event allows it, they can even start setting one-to-one -one meetings among them. In the app, they will also find the social wall where they can react and post uh, pictures so uh, they share uh, interesting insights with the rest of attendees. And the app allows you, the organizer, to create custom modules to share information about your event, about hotels or about recommendations. So it's really a place that you can exploit to share information with your attendees. One of the challenges of physical events is to control and monitor the access to your event. And that's why with Eventia we provide you with the great Eventia Checking app. When attendees register, they receive a QR code with their confirmation email. The Eventia Checking app that you can install on your Android and iPhone phones allows you to read these QR codes at the doors of your event and monitor in real time the attendance to your event and control that people are rightfully registered to your event. Eventia will provide you in real time reports showing you how many people have already checked in the event where you will be able to see if a given person has already arrived or not. If your event has activities open to registration, you can also use the checking app to control the access to those activities. It will allow you to monitor if the people are really registered to the event, but also to monitor the real attendance to that activity. The checking app also allows you to create checkpoints. Checkpoints allow you to check people at a given point. For example, if you are giving out a welcome kit at your event, you can set up a checkpoint to make sure that every attendee goes through that welcome kit point only one single time. So it's all for today. I was very happy to share these new features with you. These functionalities, I'm sure it will be of great impact and help for your next event. If you have any questions about what we've discovered today or about anything else in Eventia, feel free to reach out to our customer success team. They will be more than happy to help you. And one last thing, we've put up on the left of the screen a small feedback module with several questions that will allow us to make a better keynote next time. So please 
we would really appreciate to get your feedback. And that's all for today. Thank you so much.